not just the excess carbon dioxide that's overheating the planet, a second gas that's actually more potent than CO2 called methane is a major culprit. In tonight's Project Earth, Sarah Donchi looks at a Bay Area startup with a clever strategy to pull methane out of the air and in the process, turn it into rich fertilizer. Each year, every cow on the planet will belch a lot of methane. But they're not the only culprits. Part of the challenge with methane is it does come from everywhere. Josh Silverman is CEO of Windfall Bio, a startup located in Menlo Park. He explains methane emissions also come from coal, oil, and gas production, wastewater treatment plants, and landfills. So any place that you have organic material that is breaking down, degrading, rotting, it produces methane as a byproduct. Methane is a big problem. It's actually more potent than carbon dioxide. Methane not only warms the atmosphere more, but it also warms it much faster. This vial may hold the key. The liquid contains methane-eating microbes, usually found in soil. They pull methane out of the air. By eating it, the microbes then transform a climate-harming gas into a beneficial product, in this case, an organic fertilizer. The microbes are at the heart of what we do. Carla Risso is the director of microbiology. She says these soil microbes have dramatically declined around the world. Here at Windfall Bio, they're being nurtured, nourished, and cultivated. Basically, we know what they like and we give it to them. So they will multiply and make tons more. This concept, this technology is really amazing. I got really excited and immediately decided to enter this field. Bioengineers Kai Feng Chen and Aram Balian are conducting experiments with the microbes to optimize their diet and cultivation. The fact that nature just produces this, it's out there and uh, you know we're seeing that they're diminishing. Uh, I want to make it my job to try to re restore that population in the soils. We do see methane consumption um, and our microbes are growing. Um, the other side of this product is they also enhance their biomass. In the future, we can apply that on the field as fertilizer. The idea is to provide the microbes where the methane is created on farms, cattle ranches, landfills, water treatment plants, and the fossil fuel industry. The microbes will be freeze dried and then resuscitated with liquid nutrients before being applied to the land. Then they should come back alive and then that's how they can do their jobs. Judy Su is director of biology. In the application can reduce the methane, how it can help our planet, our soil health, our environment. Methane is a very big deal. Former U.S. Secretary of Energy and Stanford professor Dr. Stephen Chu is now advising the scientists at Windfall Bio. He believes their strategy makes a lot of sense. Why not capture it uh, before it gets diluted, capture it, prevent its release, turn it into an energy source, uh, which seemed to be a really good approach. As for the scientists, they too want to make a difference. We need to focus on technology solutions that work. I choose to believe there is hope. Being in this job, it gives me optimism every day because I see how many exciting technologies, how many exciting companies are coming up just like our own and uh, really trying to make it their mission to reduce greenhouse g gas emissions in the future and ha have this world be livable for our kids. In this case, all thanks to some mighty microbes.